Hello. Can you Hello, hear me? Hi. Yes. Hi. That is perfect. You can hear me? No. No? No, no. What about now? Uh, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, we're going to start working here with our class. So thank you for coming, everyone. Let's start with the attendance. We were here. Analicia Valle de Molina. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Brenda y Amileta Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda. Daniela María Ramos. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente, teacher. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente. Jair Adonis Márter Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Thank you. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Katia Carolina. Okay. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Hi, Verónica. Welcome to the class. Now we're going to work here yesterday. We were working with different topics. Right. Teacher, buenas noches, perdón. Buenas noches. Jonathan. Uh -huh. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> okay, Just give me one moment right here. Let me show you the class for today. Si en algún momento no escuchan nada, me avisan porque está lloviendo como por poquitos. Right? Se vienen unas mini tormentitas y después se van. So, let me know. Now, we're going to do today is class number five, yeah, class number cinco, right? And in this class, we're going to see simple present review and practice. Simple present review and practice. That's the topic that we're going to do. We're going to do a lot of practice, but must have mucha practica acá, right? So we have to be very careful with all the questions. Si tenemos preguntas, vamos a hacer preguntas, right? And if we want to... A practice we're going to do so as well, right? Now, let's start here with our first activity, right? Vamos a hacer nuestra primera actividad. Now we have pending from yesterday. Esa actividad la tenemos pendiente de ayer. Right? So let me show you. Yeah, this is our first activity. It says, read the information about Leah, right? Then complete the sentences in the chart below with the correct form of the verse in parentheses and the correct prepositions of time. Quiere decir que aquí nos vamos a recordar un poquito de las preposiciones de tiempo, right? We're going to remember a little bit about the prepositions of time. Now for the people that is the first time that you will see this, you're going to try and do your best, okay? 
las personas que no han visto las proposiciones de tiempo anteriormente. Right? You're going to do your best with the exercise. Right? Now, we have here, uh, Karen, can you please read this a small uh, paragraph? Lisa is from Indonesia. <clears throat> this one. Lia is from Indo Indonesia. She works in Toronto, Canada. This is her first time away from home. And she misses her life in Indonesia. Her life is very different in Canada. Very good. So she is from Indonesia, right? So now she lives in Canada, in Toronto, Canada. She Canada. is missing her life there. It's like, for example, when you are, we are from El Salvador, and then we go to the United States, and then we miss El Salvador. We miss pupusas, we miss everything, right? We miss the cumbias. So it's gonna be the same, right? So what are we gonna do? We see here that we have in the first example, let me make it a little bigger, right? Lo miran, miran los ejemplos. Yes. He said, Leah's mother, Leah's mother cooks breakfast for her. That's in Indonesia, right? We have three things that she that that uh, about her life in Indonesia. Then we have many other things in Canada, right? Many other things in Canada. This is the practice that we have left from yesterday. So we're gonna practice right now. We're gonna put the verse according to the subject. We're going to conjugate the verse and we use the prepositions of time. What are the prepositions? I'm gonna put here the prepositions. ¿Cuáles eran las preposiciones que hemos utilizado? A ver, ¿quién se recuerda? ¿Era? Prepositions of time? From to? From to, okay. Vamos a utilizar from to, okay. Very well. What's another preposition? Uh, what? In. At. In, very good. At, uh-huh. On. 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 Okay, very good. In, at, on, very good. What's another one? On there. Oh, that is a preposition. Yes, it is a preposition, but it's a preposition of place. Ah, place. Okay. Mm -hmm. From, to, in, at, on, at, around, alrededor de, at, around, at, around, si no es algo específico, Right, at, around, or around. Cualquiera de las dos. What? Often. Often is an adverbio, de frecuencia. Right? So, let's start with this. Recuérdense, váyanse las notas del módulo 1. Quiero ver si les encuentro el módulo 1 y si les voy a recordar las proposiciones para que hagamos bien bonito este ejercicio. Give me a moment. Oh, aquí está. Creo. Y mi amor. Y mi amor. Se la voy a mostrar para que no vayan a andar perdiditos por ella. Aquí. Here we are, here we are, here we are. This is the charge. Con base en este, en este cuadro, tome la captura de nuevo, por favor. Ya los que estuvieron conmigo en el módulo 1, ya lo tienen. Los que no han estado conmigo en el módulo 1, vamos a leerlo. Prepositions of time. At, in, on. We are from to. 
we have until, right? So those are the most important propositions that we're gonna have. Five, five different rules, right? Tenemos esto. Ya le tomaron captura? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Okay. Now, we're gonna go back here to the exercise, right? Back to the exercise. We have, we're going to complete the exercise. I'm going to put the exercise here so you can complete it as well. Take a screenshot. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Ready. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now, this activity, we're not going to do it individual. This activity no la vamos a hacer individual. La vamos a hacer en parejas. Okay, and I'm going to add with here someone with another person. So we're gonna work Anna, we're gonna work with this person. Very good. Estoy hablando en voz alta, así que no me hagas. Okay, thank you very much. Siento que alguien quedó mal aquí. Permítame. Un segundito. Vamos a hacer un pequeñito cambio. Ahí está. Ok. So, let's go. We're going to start working right now in pairs, right? Use the prepositions, use simple present, right? And we're going to have only 10 minutes. Once we finish, we come back quickly, right? Let's do it. Let's go. Vamos. Vamos que se pueden. Let's go. Vamos, en parejas. Vamos, vamos. Cristela. Cristela, ¿me escucha? Le habla aquí Cristela, ¿me escucha? No. Hola. No. Hola, ahí está. Ahí está. Okay, perfect. See you in a moment. Do you have questions? Not teacher. No. Okay, see you in a moment. Lo ponemos en la, lo ponemos en la pantalla. Sí, vos podés ponerlo. Pues realmente no, pero <laughs> vamos a tratar. Quiero ver. Um, ¿Dónde lo tengo? Es que sí, esto creo que no está en el libro. Vaya, aquí está. Dice que leamos la, el párrafo, dice que... Read the bueno, information about Leah. Lia. Ten complete uh -huh. sentences. Uh -huh. Lia is from Indonesia. Uh -huh. She works in Toronto, Canada. This is uh -huh. her first time away from home. And she misses uh -huh. her life in Indonesia. He life is very different in Canada. Okay, Lisa yeah. de Indonesia, ella trabaja en Toronto, esta es su primera vez que está fuera de, de casa y extraña su vida en Indonesia, dice que allá no, es muy pero diferente. Pero trate, no, trate de no traducirlo, porque si no, le va a costar aprender inglés. Ok, perdón. Uh -huh. No, está bien, <ríe> Vaya, pero trate en lo menor de lo posible de traducirlo. 
<risa> ok, estoy enseñando inglés. Ok, yeah. that's it. Bueno, démosle pues. Una pregunta. Yes. En la segunda dice, ¿Lía ha, sería Lía has clases? Ah, sería así. Lía has clases from 9.30 to 12.30 from Monday to Saturday. Yes. Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, ok. Y mire, no lo envié a la lista de veros porque a esa hora estaba en clase. Perdón, se me olvidó sí. decirle antes. <risa> Sí, sí, salía súper, súper tarde, ya no. No me quedé chat. No hay problema. Pero okay. I will, I will. Okay. Vaya. Ah, pues Teresa sería así, mira. From 9.30 to 12.30. Eh, sería aquí, bueno. ¿En cuál, en cuál está, Vero? Aquí, aquí, aquí. El que dice Indonesia. No. Lía. Has. Teacher. Ajá. Aquí, aquí vamos a cambiar el, el, el verbo. Yes, Have, because it's Lía. Ajá. It's their person. Sí, ok. Has. E-H-A-S. H-A-S. That is correct. Quiero ver algo, pero... Mira algo. ¿Tienen preguntas, chicas? No, teacher, por el momento no. Solo voy a tomar esto para no confundir. Vaya. Eh, clases. Clases. clases uh, at. Eh, ahí sería from night 30 to 12 30. No. Sería. Lía has clases. From from like nine thirty to thirty. Uh huh. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Uh huh. From Monday to Saturday. Okay. From Monday. To Saturday. Okay, they dice Lia Gas. ¿Cómo se pronuncia Gas? Gas. 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 Lia Gas. Gas. Good. Good. Her. Her friends. On weekends. On weekends. Yeah. At, at nine o'clock. O'clock. At, ¿verdad? At. Y luego. Club. Clock. 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 Ah, no, 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 porque sería. No, porque abajo sigue la cosa esta. Espérame, espérame. Ah, creí que ahí terminaba, ¿no? Entonces termina ahí, sería... Ajá, la, la madre de Lías, ajá. Mi ajá, Dice, no cook breakfast. No cook. Sería don. Sería... Das cook. La mamá no. de Lía. Das cook. Eh, dasen, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Das, no, ajá. Uh, she has classes. She has not classes in the morning. She has not classes in the morning. She Hello, has not classes in the morning. Hola. Hola. En las seis estamos, teacher. 
Uh, number six. Number six, yes. Leah. Uh, what is we the say... Let me ask you something before you continue. What is the auxiliary that you use in simple present? You use two auxiliaries. Doesn't have. Huh? No. Having do has, and does. Do and does, exactly. Do and does. Because having has is for present perfect. Right? For simple present, do and does. Perfect. Uh, she does not. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ah, pues entonces está buena la anterior. Ja, bye, does not, doesn't and does not, vea. Exactly. Entonces esa sería doesn't not. O doesn't does not, or does not. Ajá. Doesn't or does not. Both are okay. Okay. okay la dejo trabajando. One moment, please. Thank you, thank you. Classes in the thank morning. You. In the morning, sí. Mm -hmm. She works with a letter S, Bea. She works. She works, sí. She works. From she 9 works. p.m. Okay. From 9 p.m. to 5 no, pero aquí me perdí, me perdí en la de seven. Ah, es que ah, no termina ahí, sería she she works from she works from 9 p.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Friday. To Monday. To Monday. From Monday to Friday. Las dos son lo mismo, from to. From to, ajá. From to. Number eight, she also studies. She also stu studies there. Ajá, she also studies at a business school because she wants, she wants with ad, ad letter S. She wants to start a business in Indonesia someday. No, no entendí esa. El, 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 ¿Cómo que vamos a poner en lugar de want to? Want. Just add letter S. Just S. add letter S. Okay. At a business school because she wants to start a business in Indone Indonesia someday. Teresa se quedó solita. Sí, teacher. Ay, no. Te voy a mandar con otro grupo, ¿ok? Rapidito, para que practiquen. Teresa, no le cayó la, el, 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 el ahí que la había movido. Es que no estaba en la pantalla. A club setting. Teacher, en la nueve, no, no, no me acuerdo cómo es. En la parte donde dice 
Vaya, she, she has a class from six o'clock at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. From six o'clock at nine o'clock? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. What are the, go back to the preposition. Vayas a la, vayas a la, a la, al cuadrito de la preposición. Okay. 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 ¿Qué le dicen las... La, ah, no, las... sería, eh, sería, perdón, sería front and to. Exacto. And... and. Pero sería en ese ejemplo, ¿verdad, dicho? Yes, ma'am. Ah, eh, vaya, y, y luego, pero me voy a regresar a la otra imagen. Y luego... From two night, all night on Thursday and Tuesday. Puedo decir all night. Mire el ejemplo. All de... night. No. All mire, night. Mire las preposiciones. All no es una preposición. All es una adverbio. At night. At night. El cuadri... En el cuadrito va a encontrar todo. Pero okay. hay Entonces... que leer. Uh -huh. Y en la número, y en la número dos sería from, from, from en I ferry to 12 ferry. Number two, from 9.30 30 to 12 30. No, Lisa has classes at, at 9.30. Mm -hmm. Right? No, is no, Leah has classes from 9.30 30 to 12 30 from Monday to Saturday. Siempre, es siempre sería to. From and to, siempre. From es el inicio, to es el final. Ok. Esas dos preposiciones van juntas. Ah, ok. Pero entonces en las siete las dos son from to. Number seven. She works yeah. from to nine. Eh, to five, Monday, no, pero, sí. Sí, serían las dos from two. Uh -huh. two. From Monday to Friday. From Monday okay. to Friday, sí. Ok, ok, dicho. Okay. ¿Ya terminaron? Eh, a diez nos falta. Entonces vamos a tener un minuto para terminar e irnos. Ok. Vale, la 10 sería Leo dice don't have, doesn't have, doesn't have, uy, doesn't, doesn't have a class. Entonces, from many, from the boy, ya. Solo es eso. A la 10. A la 10 solo es así, uh, solo es Dasem How. ¿Y luego qué dice? How Mami. many friends in Toronto. Luego la 11 es She, ahí uh, sigue Not Go. Not ¿Sigue go? qué? Es que no, no, la, no, la, no la veo, no, no, no sé. Está Not Okay, so let's share the answers here of our exercise, right? Let me put it here and let's start, right? Please everyone pay attention to the answers that you are going to give, right? Number two, Marina. Number two. Lia, Lia has classes 
from mm -hmm. 9.30 to 2, mm -hmm. to 12, to 12, to 12.30. Okay, la elaboración completa. Saturday. Lia yeah. has classes from 9.30 to 12.30 from Monday to Saturday. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. Jonathan, number three. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. In uh, la number two, uh -huh. Leah has classes. Yep. Eh, no sé si podría ir at until. No. No, tendría because, que ser from to. Exactly. From and okay. to, that is the correct answer because from, it tells us the beginning of something. And to, mm -hmm. it tells us when it ends. So it's ah, a period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can Thanks. say, my schedule is from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. Thanks. Thank you, Gerardo. Jonathan, number three. No está, Jonathan? Okay. Uh, Juana, number three. Oh, hola. Perdón, no tenía el audio. Hola. The answer for number three, please. Perdón, no tenía el audio. La respuesta a la número okay. tres, por favor. Okay, this is Lia goes out with her friends on weekend. With her friends on weekends, okay? Lia goes out with her friends on weekends. Very good, that is correct. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Juana, number four. Lia's mother does not cook breakfast for her. Okay, does not cook breakfast. For her. Excellent. Thank you so much. Juana, choose another person. Go have your mask. Vamos. Daniela. Daniela, number five. Lia has breakfast at coffee shop. Y aquí no sé qué poner. Ok. ¿Qué nos dice el cuadrito que copiamos? The prepositions of time. What does it say? Let me see. Todos están en el cuadrito. Vamos. What does it say in your chart? Escoge el comodín del público. ¿Quién es el stand? Dios mío, santo. Casi todos. Ana. Perdón, Ana. Ana. <laughs> Rescatame. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Lia has breakfast at a coffee shop. At, at uh -huh. about 7.15 in the morning. In the morning. Very good. At about. It's like, ah, uh, a esa hora. Okay. Alrededor de esa hora. At about 7.15 in the morning. Very good. Thank you so much, Ana. Thank you, Daniela. Now, uh, Ana, tell me another person. Sandra Maricela. Sandra Maricela, number six. Hi. <laughs> Lías. Lía doesn't classes in the morning mm -hmm. doesn't have classes in the morning in the morning okay. doesn't have right here doesn't have classes doesn't have in the morning in the morning exactly thank you sandra this is correct leah doesn't have classes in the morning sandra choose another person brenda Brenda, number seven. Nine. Okay. 
She works from nine at five o'clock from Monday at Friday. Okay, she works from nine at five. Okay, at five from Monday. Uh huh. At Friday. Okay. Uh, Brenda, can you please go to the charge of prepositions of time? Y vea lo que discutimos en el grupo. Ah, que siempre va a ir acompañado al from de la preposición at. At, es at. Vaya a ver la cuadra. Sí, a ver. No, sorry, two. From and to. From to. From to, it's always together, right? Desde hasta, así. Esa es la traducción salvadoreña, desde hasta, donde la, la interpretación. De okay. qué horas a qué horas. De qué día a qué día, right? From Monday to Friday. Uh, yes, Ana, what's your question? Yes, I have a doubt. In exercise number six, you uh, use doesn't have. I don't remember if when we use doesn't change has for have. No, it doesn't because you have does. You have the, the auxiliary does, so the verb doesn't change. Siempre que usted tenga does en preguntas o en negativas, no util, no cabe el cambio del verbo. Very good. Thank you so much, Anna. Who is next, Brenda? Uh, Aide. Aide, number eight. Brenda, thank you. <laughs> eight. She also studies at a business school because she wants to start a business in Indonesia someday. Okay, she also studies, right, at a business school because she wants to. Exactly. This was easy, doesn't have any prepositions, right? She wants to start a business in Indonesia someday. Uh, Aide, who's next? Um, let me... Déjeme ver cómo está. Jonathan. Ya pasó. Ya pasó. Edwin, entonces. Uh -huh. Thank you, Daniel, number nine. Okay. Uh, she has a class from six club tonight at night on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, she has a class from six o'clock to nine. Very nine. good. At nine. nine. At night, okay. At night, I agree with you. On Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday and Thursday. Thor. 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 Ya visto los Avengers? Yes. <laughs> ya visto Thor. A tour, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Ah, lo decir? Thursday. Thursday. Exacto. Ah, mire qué bonito. Very good. Chulo. Right? Thank you so much. De ahí viene, ese no de ahí viene el nombre del, de, de, del día de la semana. Del Dios Tour. Ok, number 10. Who's next, Edwin? Eh, Marina. Marina. Number 10. Marina ya participó, ¿verdad? No? Yes. Okay, alguien más. Dígame alguien Gerardo. más. Gerardo. Eh, Lia doesn't have many friends in Toronto. Okay. Doesn't have many friends in Toronto. Toronto. Repeat. Toronto. Very good. Thank you. Who's next? Gerardo. Gerardo. 
Edwin. Sí, el fin acaba de pasar. Ah, perdón. Ah, sí, es el mismo Leonel, ¿verdad? Perdón. <ríe> eh, Verónica, no sé si ha participado. Verónica, no, no ha pasado Verónica. She doesn't, she doesn't go. She doesn't go on out weekend. on weekends. She doesn't go out on weekends. Okay, no aprovecha todo de la muchacha. Okay, who's mm. next, Veronica? Um, Juana. Juana. Se nos metió esta oración en el simple present. Mira, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Juana. Number 12. Euseda. Número de Due. <laughs> sí. Uh, bueno, no sé, dice. Yo le puse, le pusimos is B. Is B. B. No, it's only is. She is lonely. Uh -huh. She is lonely. Ese es el, 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 el verbo to be se nos fue. Después, the last one. Number 13. Came back. Juana. Mm, ahorita veo los compañeros. Me queda Fátima, Karen, Jair y Teresa. Karen. Karen, ok. Ok. Dicen que no veo, vamos a ver. Yo respuesta ahí, ajá. She misses. She misses. Okay. Here, fries in Indonesia. She misses her friends in Indonesia. She misses, she misses her friends in Indonesia. Very good. Porque si dice fries, son las papas fritas. Entonces, si está su papa fritas en Indonesia. <laughs> Which is perfect. It's fine. I understand that. Okay, very good. Questions about this exercise? Simple present. Vamos a hacer bastante simple present, señoritos, señoritas. Teacher, uh, when you use to, from, no, to, um, until. To and until. Okay, uh -huh. to, it's when we're going to use it, uh, to with the preposition from, when we're talking about time. Okay, uh -huh. for example, my English class is from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. And then we can say, my English class is, my English class is until 8 p.m. What is the difference? In the first example, we are going to write two. My English class is is from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., right? The next one is going to be, right? My English class, sorry guys, my English class, right, is until 8 p.m. What is the difference in these two sentences? In do, you use, do you use a uh, rango of time? Exactly. In the first one, I'm telling you how long it will be. In la primera leo, cuánto tiempo? How long it will take for my class to stay there, right? In number two, I'm just telling you at what time it starts. Maybe you can tell me, Oh, uh, Silvia, let's watch a movie. Ah, fine. My class is until 8 p.m. Sí, tengo tiempo. Mi clase es a las 8, vamos a una película. Right? My class is until 8 p.m. Es hasta las 8. Right? No se puede But, decir desde hasta. Desde hasta es from to 10. From to, como es 
no puede ser from until, cosas así, ¿verdad? Hasta porque no. el until puede decir hasta también. Yo, yo comprendo, pero el until y el tú en ese caso pueden significar hasta en, en, en un momento. Ok, déjeme ver si entendí. Usted me está preguntando si puedo hacer la combinación de from y until. Sí, ahorita no, ya le comprendí que no se puede, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque okay. aquí no lleva un desde hasta, pero yo esa era la confusión que tenía, pero ahorita ah. con su ya le comprendí, ajá. Yes, in this case, we can use this one for the beginning, or we can say my English class, you know what, my English class finishes until 8 p.m. I cannot go with you. Mi clase termina hasta las 8. Until usualmente se utiliza para decir hasta, right? Hasta qué horas empieza, hasta qué horas termina. Una cosa. Okay? Pero solamente es como un punto del tiempo. Y en el otro es referente a todo el periodo de tiempo. Okay. Thank you for your question, Aide. Teacher. Yes. Ah, uh, question. Uh, en Eleven, por ejemplo, si yo digo she no goat, sería, estaría bien, sería correcto también. No, it is incorrect. She no goes is incorrect. Ah. Mm -hmm. We always use the auxiliary. Right? We use the auxiliary. Now, let's have this clear. And I will say this in Spanish so we can, we can get this clear. Estamos aprendiendo eh, para aprender inglés como segundo idioma, tenemos que conocer de dónde vienen las cosas, right? Debemos conocer las reglas gramaticales. Pero, por ejemplo, si usted ve un programa en Netflix, usted va ahorita y ve Grey's Anatomy, por decir algo, en, en, en Netflix, usted va a ver de que ahí tiene, en, eh, va a utilizar tal vez una forma que no es gramatical. Yo he visto que dice, she, oh, no, she no. She not goes out on weekends. Right? In speaking only. Para hablar. Right? Para hablar. Pero para escribir, nosotros debemos escribir bien. Sobre todo ustedes que quieren su inglés para trabajar. Van a escribir cartas. Van a hablar con clientes. Right? Van a enviar mensajes. Right? Van a llenar formas. So you have to write correctly. Para speaking y en, si es eh, para hablar de forma informal, pero eso lo van a escuchar hasta en canciones, videos, películas, etc. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you, Leonel, for your question. Another question. Shall we continue? No questions? No, teacher. <laughs> Ana, ya se va a dormir. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, did you copy the answers? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Wonderful. So now we're going to continue here with another exercise. Right? This one is going to be writing as well. Right? So vamos a hacer un poquito de writing también. Just give me a moment. Okay, this is another review from yesterday's class, right? We are going to write, right? Two negative sentences and two questions, right? Now, you can make the question and the answer if you want to, but you're going to use countables and uncountables. Let me tell you how. For example, here, right? If we have our example, this is our exercise, I will make my first example, right? I will write my first negative question, my first question and my negative answer. Simple present. Do you like, it says countable nouns. What is a countable noun? Oh, okay. Do you like orange? What? Orange. Oranges. Okay. Do you like oranges? Oh, that's my question. 
right? It's telling me to write one question using countable noun and then one negative sentence. No, I do not like oranges. I do not like oranges. I like mangoes. Right? That's my answer. Right here. That's number one. Countable noun. Right? Then I will write uncountables. Okay. Uncountable noun. One question. Mm -hmm. How much water do you drink every day? I do not, I do not drink water. Oh, I do not drink a lot of water. I prefer, a, I prefer what? Pineapple juice. I would prefer pineapple juice. So then I have uncountable, right? And negative. That's what we're going to do. One question, you see, you can use yes, no questions, right? Pueden utilizar las yes, no questions. Pueden utilizar también WH questions. What, when, why, everything that you want. Right, but you're going to do question, negative, countable, and uncountable. We're going to do this individually. Yo le di mis ejemplos, espero le guste. Right, I gave you my examples. Now I'm waiting for yours. Okay. Let's do it. Did you finish? Teacher. Yes. Era una de cada una o cuántas? You're going to make like me two examples, como los dos ejemplos que yo di, uno con contables y uno con eh, no contables. Una pregunta okay. y una respuesta. Pregunta y respuesta. I finish. Very good, Ana. If you can, very good. If you can, please start sharing your examples in the chat and then we we'll read them. Okay.
us a beautiful example, Brenda. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Anna, why? But both are delicious. Pupusas and pastelitos. Very good. The only thing, Brenda, is that your question is perfect. Your answer is perfect. But the exercise is to write them in negatives. Mm -hmm. So you can write another one. Edwin Leonel in negatives. For example, look at what Anna did. How many pupusas do you eat? How many pupusas do you eat? No, I do not eat pupusas. I prefer pastelitos de carne. I would say, Anna, what kind of? What kind of means que tipo de? What kind of music do you listen to every day? What kind of music do you listen to every day? No, I do not listen to music. I read a book. Very good. Daniela, escríbalo para todos. This example is not work for how much? How much? No, because music is a uncountable. The word music is uncountable. And I use, I don't understand, I use how much? But, it, but, but for for the context, it doesn't work for this example. So you use you use how many how many music do you listen? So sorry, how much music do you listen every day? I thought that I wrote. But it's better if you say what kind of music do you listen? To? Or do you listen to music? Mm -hmm. I will change my example. Perfect. Let's see. Do you like fish? No, I don't like fish. I like chicken. Why? Fish is delicious. Does your mother work 11 hours per day? No, she does not. She works just eight hours per day. Great. Fatima. Fatima Sabido me recuerda un ex compañero de la universidad. How many books have you read? I don't read books. I prefer going to the sea. I prefer going to the sea, Brenda. Do you like watermelons? No, I don't like watermelons because it gets me a migraine. Oh, it gets me allergies. No coman, no coman melon. Oh no, that's sandilla. Melon no coman, dale. Do you like bikes? No, I don't like No, I don't. I like cars. Okay, yeah, let's see. No, I don't. I like cars. How much sugar do you want in your coffee? In your coffee. Fatima? I do not want coffee. I want tea, please. ¿Y el azúcar? ¿Cuánto? Quiero un aquí. How many cup, cups of coffee? Cups of coffee. Marina, how many cups of coffee do you drink every day? No, I don't drink coffee. Okay. How many, Karen, how many bananas do you eat? I prefer apples. Uh, uh, how many bananas do you eat? Bananas. No, okay, thank bananas. you, teacher. Mm -hmm. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Brothers? And sisters, do you have? I don't have brother. I have three cute and fantastic sisters. Aide, las esas, plurales. How much TV do you watch every day? I watch a lot of TV. Yes, I have always watched TV. I don't watch it. I listen to music. Perfect. 
How much alcohol do you drink on weekends? You don't have to know that, David. No, the way I require it. <laughs> I don't. I don't drink alcohol. I drink water every day. Do you play guitar? No, I do not like. Sick. No entiendo, Maricela. How many hobbies do you have? I have three hobbies. Very good, Adonis. How much money do you save? Y aquí solo dos errores de, de, de escritura. I save a little money. Okay, I save a little bit. A little bit, el ejemplo que dio uh, Jair, a little bit es poquito. A little bit. Aplica para todo. How much coffee do you want? A little bit. How much money do you have? A little bit, right? Not much, right? Y apenas es nueve. Okay, good. Do you like to visit the park? No, I don't visit, I prefer going to the beach. Cuando tenemos los verbos, prefer, like, este es un bono de la clase, miren, love, eh, hate, hate, cuando odian algo. Prefer, like, love, hate, ejemplo de esos verbos. I prefer, I like, I love, I hate. Y luego vamos a poner otro verbo, right? Que nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, me encanta ir al cine. Me encanta. I love. ¿Y cuál sería el verbo ir? Sería go. ¿no? Entonces nuestra lógica dice, miremos el chat. I love, go, to the movies, right? Pero cuando tenemos los verbos que yo puse ahí, prefer, like, love and hate, por ejemplo, vamos a poner el verbo que va después de esos verbos en ing. I love going to the movies. Going. Y no es porque es progresivo, sino que porque lo estamos convirtiendo en una actividad, no en una acción. Ir al cine es una actividad. Ir a nadar es una actividad. I hate eating in restaurants. I hate eating in restaurants. I love my mom's food. Right? ¿Qué es lo que no le gusta? Comer en los restaurantes. No es un verbo. No está actuando como un verbo porque la acción es que odia comer en restaurantes. Right? La actividad es eating at restaurants. Right. ¿Entienden esa parte? Para que después la vayan aplicando poco a poco. Right. Esa, esa regla de inglés es bien fácil. Right. Now, are we good with the examples? Let's see one more. I guess says how much money. Money, money, money. Must be funny. How much money do you need? I need a lot of money. I don't need money. I prefer your time. Oh, good. You see, yes, yes, I know. How much Coca Cola do you drink? I do not drink Coca Cola. I prefer Cola Champagne. Very good. I prefer coconut water. Muy cara la coconut water. Right? Very good. Too expensive. Teacher, la asistencia. <gasps> Santo Padre, Fatima, gracias. <laughs> Edwin, que no le avisa uno. Ok, good. thank you. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. <ríe> Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente. Gracias. Jair Adonis Martir Molina. Jair. Presente. Bueno, Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente. Thank you. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. 
Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vázquez Romero. Presente. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So now, we're going to start here when I make another example, right? We're going to see, today is a review of simple presence. I'm haciendo una revisión del presente simple, right? We're working as a review. Can you see my chart? El simple present está en nuestro libro, okay? Now, look at this. This is only a review. We have in this in the simple present, right? Each of our, our activities, right? Each of our sentences, they are being divided in three things: subject, verb, verb. complement. Subject, verb, complement. Now, here the book is telling us that we have the subjects, right? I, you, we, they, and the verb does not change. Look at this. I, you, we, and they, and the verb does not change. But then, right, we have the other one that we have he, she, it, right? And the verb changes, right? It says, he, she, eat, my brother, words, right? Now, look at this. We need to remember all the time. If we have the subjects, the verb stays the same in an affirmative sentence, right? If it's third person singular, the verb stays the same in here, no? We add the S, right? Now, are we clear with that part? Estamos claros en esta parte? Yes, Estamos teacher. Estamos claros, sí? Okay, yes. very good. Now, if we want to make a, a negative sentence, right, the only thing that we have to do here is that we need to add the auxiliary, right? That's the only thing we gotta do. So we have here, I do not work or don't work every day, right? Oh, but here when we have the negative, right? He does not work every day. The verb goes back to the original form, right? Because we are using the auxiliary does, right? So we don't change the verb here. Now, are we clear with this part? ¿Estamos claros en esta parte? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Si en un momento no me escuchan, me avisan, porque está comenzando a llover. Okay, now, me avisan, por así me muevo de lugar. Now, we have here also the uses of simple present, o cosas importantes que debemos recordar. We use the simple present, and look at this, please, right? We use the simple present, right? To talk about habits or routines, right? We use it also to talk about schedules and facts, habits or routines, right? We use it also for schedules, right? And we use it also for facts, right? What are facts? Facts are things that are, that you have an evidence. Los hechos, algo que tenemos evidencia de que así es, right? Habits, schedules, and facts. Those are the three main uses of the simple present. Esos son los tres usos principales del presente simple, right? Now we go here and we see the examples, right? For habit or routine. Anna, can you please read the examples for habit or routine? 
uh, the rule. Okay, the example. The example. He drives to work. This one. Habit or routine. Excuse me. I exercise every day. I exercise every day. Then we know that it's a routine because we have the word every day. La palabra que nos está diciendo que es una rutina o un, ha o un hábito es la palabra every day. Right? That's what we have first. Then, what page can we find this? Because I'm I'm looking in the book and I didn't find it. In the book, we have a chart. Ya le digo en qué página. Tenemos eso en el libro. Aquí le he puesto un poquito más de información para explicar. Ok? Pero en el libro. Permítame que ahorita el de la computadora no puede acceder al libro. Escuchan la lluvia mucho. No. 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 Permítame. Ya le digo. En el libro va a encontrar un cuadro similar a este. I found a page en, la, en la página 12. En la página 12. Page 12. This page. Page 12. You will find something similar. Page 12. En, sí, solo ahí. Página 12. ¿Ok? Something Thank similar. you. Then we have the simple present also for a schedule. Okay. Uh, Brenda, can you read the example for a schedule? Yes, teacher. A schedule. She starts work at eight. She starts work at eight. Okay, very well. Right. Why do we know that it's a schedule? We know that it's a schedule because we have the time. Tenemos la hora. ¿Cuál hora? At eight. So we have the time. Then we have here facts. With facts, right here, this is a fact. Can you read the fact, Teresa? Teresa, can you please read the fact? I think she's not there. And Gerardo, can you please read the fact? Fact. Uh, fact. It's trying a lot. A lot of in the April. It's in, rain a lot of in up April. April, April. Mm, it rains a lot in April. Here in El Salvador, we can say it rains a lot every day. <laughs> right? It at rains night. a lot at night. It rains a lot in English classes. <laughs> okay, very good. Acá decimos que es un hecho. Porque tenemos una evidencia, sobre todo cuando tenemos evidencia científica. That's when we're going to use it the most. Are we clear with this part? Yes, it's clear, yes? teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Thank you, Gerardo. What about the others? Is this part clear? Miren la primera, solo el número uno. Ya yes. nos entendemos. Yes. Okay, now let me continue. Let me continue. We have there also, right, the rule of S. Right, with the rule of S, this is telling us that we're going to add the S to the verse for he, she, it, and singular subjects, right? So third person singular. We have examples, he drives to work, she works in an office. The bank opens at 9 a.m. Edwin, can you please read the sentences? Yes, teacher. Can you please read the sentences? 
here. One, two, three. Uh, he writes to work. She works in an office. The bank opens at 9 a.m. Very well, thank you so much. Right, and another important, important, important thing about the simple present is this. Look at this. Do not put B, right? Do not put B, let me put it in red. Do not put B in front of another verb. Look at this, it says, he works at a bank. He is working at a bank, mm -hmm. incorrect. Muchas veces hacemos este error, que utilizamos el verbo to be cuando estamos hablando del presente simple y hacemos ese ejemplo que tenemos ahí. He is work at a bank. And that is incorrect. Okay? Now, do we understand this part? Yes, but it's okay if I say she's at home because it is not a verb. Yeah, because that is not the simple present. When I say she is at home, at home is not a verb. It's a prepositional phrase. Another question? Pregunte. Solo un par preguntas. Los demás tenemos que quedar claro con lo que estamos haciendo. Recuérdense que esto es una revisión y ya después vamos a empezar con otros tiempos y otros, otras reglas chiquititas. Ok, if you don't have questions, let's go ahead and do the following. Take a screenshot, toman una captura del ejemplo, right? And you are going to write your examples, but you're going to write your examples in group. Okay. We are going to write your examples the following. Okay. You're going to do the examples for habit or routine, a schedule or fact, and one example for he and another one for she. So, how many sentences are you going to write? You're going to write five examples, okay? De la tres no, porque la tres es lo que dice que no hagamos, right? So you're going to write one example for habit or routine. Que se vea que si es un habit or routine. Another example for a schedule, another example for fact, and then another example for he, and the last example for she. These ones can be negative or positive. It's up to you. ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes? Yes, we're going to write five yes. sentences using simple present. Simple present. OK, very good. Siguiendo los, los, los ejemplos que tenemos ahí. Right? Now, we're going to work that in first. Eso lo vamos a hacer en parejas. ¿Puedo quitar ya la imagen? ¿Ya tomaron captura? ¿Sí? Ya yes, sí, ya. Let me put sharing groups. Vamos a ir. Let's go. Five, five sentences, very, very easy. Right? Let's go. Vámonos, vámonos. Oración. Eh, no sé si tomas captura del, del cuadrito. Sí. 
Sí, sí, logré tomar captura. A ver, vamos a hacer cinco oraciones. Con el... Una utilizando habits o routine. Uh, otra con schedules. Fast. He y she. Serían cinco oraciones. Vamos con la una. Uh, hábitos. Ay. Vamos a ver cómo diría. Uh, Un hábito. Ajá. Bueno, el mío es que voy a dejar a mi hijo todos los días a la escuela, diría. I go. No sería una rutina. ¿Mande? No sería una rutina. Ajá, ese es hábito o rutina. Ah, perfecto. Ajá. Sí. Pero como digo, I go. ¿Cómo digo que voy a.? ¿Mande? Yo diría chivo. No, porque ah. es ella. Ajá. O bien pueden hacerlo con she. Se puede. Sí, she go. Puede. She go. Pero si usted va a dejar a su hijo a la escuela. Uh -huh. Entonces, el verbo para dejar a sus hijos en la escuela, chicas, es drop. I drop my son at school. Drop. Ajá. Uh -huh. Drop se deletrea T de R. Uh -huh. I drop I drop I drop my son my son in school at school in school at school at school señorita at thank you At school. Voy a otro grupo, la dejo un ratito. Ok, dice. Eh, vaya, y dice Chi Star Wars at eight. Eh, empieza a trabajar. Uh -huh. Star Wars at eight. Teacher. Yes. Es que es. Schedule, schedule. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? Horario. Ah, ok. Thank you. Horario. Yo cuento. Señorita, ya hemos estado viendo ejemplos, yo hasta ahorita me pregunto. ¿Por qué? Dígame. Es que yo no sé por qué siempre se me olvida eso. Siempre se me olvida. Siempre se me olvida. Qué humilde. No, ahí está bien. Vaya, este Jaime. Yeah. Eh, ¿Ponemos ese ejemplo? O, ah, o podemos poner ella, fin, eh, él finaliza, he yeah. finish, algo así, ¿verdad? Yeah. He finishes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He finishes. Hola. Eh, podría ser, she finished the class at 10 p.m. Ok. At, at, me dijo? At 10 p.m. Ok. Vaya, y en la falta. En falta. I cook. I cook. She cooks in the morning I every cook. day. I cook breakfast she, every morning. She come? I cook breakfast every morning. I cook. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I cook breakfast every day. So every every, every day in the morning, puede ser. Uh -huh. Morning. In the morning. Okay. Um, pero, pero... She goes. Hey. She goes. Ah, podría ser otra como I 
I prep I make I make no I make verdad que sí teacher qué quiere decir I I'm making coffee every morning porque estoy utilizando I am I, I making make, I make I make sorry I make I make coffee every morning coffee Ah, okay. That was every every morning. Okay. Me veo como que si viera bien. She makes <laughs> coffee every mo every she, morning. Every morning. Yo le voy a colocar she she Voy a suponer que la tomo de, de ti, ¿verdad? She makes coffee every morning. Ah, sí, como... para cambiar el verbo. Para ir practicando, yeah. Ah, okay. great. Have you finished yet, Edwin and Veronica? Eh, casi, teacher, casi. También no, teacher. No yet? No yet. Do you have questions? Yes. What are your questions? But uh, my sample is uh -huh. very hot. Is very hot every day. ¿Por qué estoy utilizando el verbo to be? Explícame. Eh, porque ahí usamos it. No. No. It rains. A lot in April, el ejemplo. Entonces no puedo it usar. Rains. Puedo utilizar ah. it, lo que no puedo utilizar es el verbo to be. Vamos a utilizar Pero, verbos de acción. ¿Por qué está utilizando el verbo to be? Su, su, a ver, su oración está bien. It is very hot. Está perfecto. But, but it's not about the, it's not about the simple present. No estoy utilizando el presente simple. Por ejemplo, alguien me decía, I am making coffee. Está bien, pero no es simple present. Mm. Eat, eat very hot every day? No. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Calor. Calor no es un verbo. ¿Cuál es la acción de calor? Es cierto, tiene razón. Hot es un adjetivo. Hot es un adjetivo. Uh -huh. En este caso, en el ejemplo es llueve, ¿verdad? No. ¿What? En este caso, en el ejemplo que que tenemos de fat is it rains a lot in April. El verbo es rains. Exacto. El verbo es rains. It rains. Llueve. Exacto. Ok, teacher, la voy a corregir. Gracias. Sí, en el momento. Ok. I have a question. Yes. When you want when you want to say that he's a good cooking, he's a good cooking or he cooks good. Depende, ¿qué quiere decir? Las dos también. Uh, because of the rule that you already said that we don't have to use is next to ah no he cooks good is the rule and uh -huh. cooking is another way to say that he is good in cooking yes i i understood uh -huh. he is we don't a have good cook uh -huh. next to is the verb he is exactly. cooking uh -huh. a good cook cook a good cook Okay. 
Mire, and then we have another question. When we work in facts, uh -huh. it's okay if I say the sun shine in the morning. The sun shines in the morning, yep. Shines. Shines. Yes. Shines. Esa nos costó. <laughs> Esa cuesta. Ya terminaron, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. Yo creo que sí, ya estuvo. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Despidámonos. Uy, qué poquito hay. Okay, let's start listening to some of the examples, right? We're going to start with Brenda. Tell us one of your examples really quick. Tell me, have it. Okay, teacher. She brushes her hair. Um, I cook breakfast every day in no. the morning. Tell me, tell me a habit. Dígame un habit. habit. Habit or routine. Uh -huh. That is a habit and routine for me. I don't know. I, I think it's okay. No? Okay. She brushes her hair. She it's brushes her hair. Ajá. ¿Y cómo se llama uh -huh. una rutina? ¿Qué me dice que es una rutina? Uh, every morning. Okay, very good. She brushes her hair every morning. Thank you, Brenda. Tell me, Marina, a routine. Thank you. Routine for me, uh, I go to work at 7 a.m. every day. Mm, kind of. How does it sound like? It sounds more like a schedule, right? Ah. Suena un schedule. Okay. 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 I walk at 5.30. Ese sí es un schedule. Okay. Schedule. Sí, at 5.30. I work at 5.30. Ese ah. es un horario. Ah, okay. okay. Cuando decimos un horario, no es, es necesariamente un horario de trabajo. Right? Mm -hmm. Sino que es un horario en el que realizamos ciertas actividades. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Marina. Eh, Sandra, okay. tell me a schedule. A schedule. I have a breakfast at half past seven. Okay. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. At? At? Half past seven. Half past seven. Okay. Half. Half. At half past seven, yes. At half past seven. Thank you, Sandra. Very good. That will be scheduled. I did. Routine. Routine. Mm. Um, I practice. I practice a sport at night every day. At night every day. Yeah. Just like Marina's example, very good. Anna, a fact. <laughs> the sun shines in the morning. The sun shines in the morning, very good. That is perfect, right? And if you write it in negative, for example, in Alaska, the sun doesn't shine in the morning in Alaska. That is a routine, right? Very good. Thank you, Anna. Fatima, but. Okay, I'm not sure if this is correct to say. Mm -hmm. um, 
the weather the weather is too cold in October. Yeah, that's perfect. But you're using the verb to be. Su oración está perfecta. Okay. Pero no es el, el simple present. The weather is too cold in October. No okay. le veo nada de malo a esa estructura. Está bien, tiene sentido, okay. pero no es simple present. Because um, another option could be it cold in October. It cold weather in October. No. But cold is not a verb. Cold is an adjective. So what is the, the correct form to say the in this case? In este caso no lo podemos decir con simple present. Oh uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> en ese caso no. Su, su ejemplo está bien, pero no es simple present. Okay, no creo que está mal. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. And don't worry, many, many of you, muchos grupos hicieron lo mismo. Right. Los adjetivos eh, no los podemos convertir en verbos. Los sustantivos sí. Hay unos sustantivos que los podemos convertir a verbos. Por ejemplo, si tengo el sustantivo libro, que es book, right? Y si alguien aquí trabaja en un hotel, va a saber que book lo podemos hacer como el verbo para trabajar en un hotel, right? The customer booked, en pasado, a lot of flights, uh -huh. right? El cliente eh, reservó, reservó muchos viajes, right? Ese sí, pero los adjetivos lastimosamente no se pueden, right? Now, we can say, uh, the sun shines in the morning, um, Another one is that the water boils at 40 degrees, right? The water boils, el agua herbe, o hierbe, no sé cómo se dice eso en español. The water boils at 40 degrees, right? That would be one. The sun set at 6 p.m. on October, no, on January. The sun sets at 6 p.m. on January, right? For example. How could you say the rainbows sale when the rain is, no, pero no es oración simple, ¿verdad? The rainbow, yeah, the rainbow appears after the rain. No importa si es simple o no. Esa de hecho es una oración eh, simple. The rainbow appears after the rain. Appears, aparece. Muy bien. Let's see another example. Jair, tell me a routine. Um, I listen to music every day. I listen to music every day. That's perfect. Thank you. Uh, Janet, tell me a fact. Eh, eh, no sabemos si está bien, teacher. Eh, no se preocupe. Decimos, on Friday, there are a lot of traffic. On Friday, there is a lot of traffic. There is, there is. a lot of traffic. Traffic oh, okay. is uncountable. Right. On Friday, there is a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Está sí. Thank you, teacher. Sí, está, así sería la oración, pero no es simple press. Ok. Es el uso de there is and there Ok. Ah, ok. Sí, tiene que saber si está correcta o no, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. La, o sea, la oración está bien, pero no está el simple presente. Exactamente. Exactamente. Ok, ahorita la arreglamos, teacher. Uh -huh. Verónica, fact. Esmeralda. Hola. Esmeralda, disculpe. Escriba su ejemplo porque no le escucho bien, le escucho entrecortado. 
Quizás es mi internet. Okay, now, while she writes the example, I don't know if someone else wants to read an example. If not, we're going to continue with the next part, right? I want to show you this exercise. Mientras esperamos a Verónica, I want to show you this because this is very important, okay? Si estamos viendo el simple present, that's cool, pero tenemos que irlo mezclando con otras cositas, right? Para ir practicando. Says, change each affirmative statement to a negative statement. Esa es la primera tarea. That's the first task. Change each affirmative statement to a negative statement. Then change each underlined object. Right? Change each underlined object to an object pronoun. Let me show you. Right? Can you see my computer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So what do we have here? First, the positive sentence, she reads the newspaper every morning. Ah, let's make it negative. She doesn't read the newspaper every morning, but it says that the underlying part, the newspaper, we're going to change it to an object pronoun, okay? Este, la parte que está subrayada, la vamos a convertir en un object pronoun, right? So, we, has here, we have here the first example. She doesn't read it every morning. So, when we have the newspaper, the newspaper, it becomes it, right? That would be the object pronoun. Now, what are the object pronouns? Yes, aquí voy a manchar esta parte, right? We know that we have subject pronouns, right? We know that. We have the subjects, I, sorry, I, you, we, they, right? Estos son subject pronouns. Subjects. ¿Por qué? Porque su, funcionan como sujetos, right? Subject pronouns. I, you, we, they, right? What are the others? He, she, it. These ones, they can become object pronouns. Cada sujeto tiene su objeto, right? Los objetos van después de los verbos. Right? Usualmente son sustantivos, entonces los convertimos a objetos. Right? No funcionan como sujetos, sino que como objetos. So when I have here I, the object pronoun from I is going to be me. me. Excellent. The object pronoun from you is going to be you. That one is easy. We is going to be us, yeah. they, them, he, him. Her, uh, she is her, and it is going to be it, right? So this is how we change it. You have the object pronouns. Este es un review para los que estuvieron y podría ser algo nuevo para los demás. I, I and me, you and you, we and us, right? They and them, he, him, she, her, and it. That's why we say the newspaper is a thing. So it belongs to it. Object pronoun, it. This is the super fast, right? Now, ahora vamos a utilizar la forma negativa del presente simple y vamos a utilizar los subject pronouns. Vamos a recordarnos un poquito de ellos. ¿Qué les parece? Right? So, do we understand what we're doing? ¿Entendemos qué vamos a hacer? Yes, means. In, in summer, there are a few flowers. Okay, Veronica. In summer, there are a few flowers. Okay, so let's start. ¿Puedo borrar la tablita aquí del subject y el object? ¿O le están copiando? No. Vale, la voy a borrar. So let's start. This is going to be individual work. 
Esto va a ser trabajo individual, señoritas y señoritas. Let's do it. I'm going to drink some water. Oh my God. You know, it's raining in where I live, it's raining, but it's also very hot. So sorry for the noise. Did you finish? Give me a moment. Just while you work, mientras ustedes trabajan, solamente les voy a dar un update, una actualización de su trabajo en la plataforma de la semana 1. Recuérdense que la semana 1 termina hoy. Nosotros terminamos los jueves la semana. No terminamos el viernes esta vez. Entonces, para los jueves ya debe estar todo terminado en la plataforma de la semana 1. Okay. En este caso, como es la semana 1, vamos a hacer un poquito... Eh, vamos a dar un poquito de tiempo para mañana pero acá voy a decir las personas que todavía les falta no, voy a mencionar mejor las que ya terminaron su plataforma ok, Brenda y Emilet ya terminó Edwin Leonel ya terminó Daniela tiene la cantidad para pasar Fátima igual eh, Aide ya terminó Karen ya terminó también acá puedo ver que Teresa ya terminó y Verónica ya terminaron también la semana 1. Okay. Las personas que no mencioné, en este caso, traten de trabajar para terminar la semana 1, eh, por lo menos mañana en la mañana, o si trabajan en la tarde, apenas lleguen de su trabajito, ¿verdad? para enviar las notas. No termine. I did it, the five. Mm, ah, ok. Ok, I lo acabo de actualizar. Ok. Teacher, yo estuve trabajando hoy también ahí. Este, no sé si no se, se fue la información. Eh, solo mencioné a los que ya terminaron todo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Los que ya terminaron todo o los que tienen 80 por lo menos. Si usted todavía no ha terminado todos los ejercicios, pero ya trabajó, eh, por eso no lo mencioné. Okay, Pero bueno. si ya tiene 80 o 100, ya estuvo. ¿Los es demás? Que, Dígame. Perdón, es decir que tengo que tener las cinco tareas listas, ¿verdad? Es correcto. Ah, ya, ya. En mi caso, por ejemplo, trabajé okay. según lo que llevábamos. Ajá, pensé que eh, íbamos a ir en ese orden. Sí, pero como ella es el review, 
Hoy es el review de lo que, la tarea 5. Ah. Siempre es una revisión de lo que hemos hecho de, de, de viernes a miércoles. De viernes okay. a miércoles. Entiendo. Ahora, para la otra semana, que va a ser, va, empezamos mañana, la semana 2. Mañana la empezamos, mañana viernes. Recuérdense que en la semana 2 hay un examen parcial. Okay. Ese también debe estar completo para el jueves en la noche. Just to make sure. Now, we have six minutes. Ya casi terminamos. I finish. You finish, Anna? Very good. Anna, what do you have for number two? For number two, I wrote, she doesn't work with them. She doesn't work with them. Very good. Them belongs to Todd and Oscar. That's great. Thank you, Anna. Now, Daniela, number three. I'm very confused with that sentence. Why? No sé cómo va. No sé si es... Ok, empecemos por el inicio. Subject. What is the subject? My book. Ah, no, my brother. My brother. Ok. Mm -hmm. My brother. Ok. When we have my brother, what is the subject for that? Subject pronoun. They, you, he, she, what is it? My brother. He. He, okay, very good. He, that's it. So when we have he, what is the auxiliary do, that I should use? Do or does? Does. Okay, does. And this is negative, right? Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, doesn't. And what is the verb? Doesn't. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. And then I have my book. My book. What is the the referral object pronoun for my book? It. Okay, Daniela. What is your ah. question? Ay, así la había puesto. Es que pero no estaba segura. <laughs> <laughs> pero mira, usted solita responde todo, right? Sí. sí no. answer. You know the answers. Ustedes conocen las respuestas. Karen. <laughs> Number three. Karen. It's number three. Uh -huh. Number four, right? uh -huh. she, she doesn't, no sé cómo pronuncia, teaches. She doesn't teaches. Sí. Uh -huh. Sería. Use. As. Ah, perdón, as. Okay, now tell me, Karen, what happen, What happens when I have does in negative sentence? What happens to the verb? ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? Ah, excuse me. She doesn't teach. Okay. She doesn't teach us. Very good. Repeat, she doesn't teach us. She doesn't teach us. Teach us. Okay. She doesn't teach us. Very good. Thank you. Now let's see another person. <clears throat> Let me see. Teresa. Teresa, Teresa. Number five. We. Uh -huh. We talk. We talk. Uh-huh. To all, uh, no, no. no, tell me in negative and then using object pronouns. I see, we doesn't. We doesn't, uh huh. Talk. Talk. To. Uh, they. Okay, they is the subject pronoun. ¿Cuál es el object pronoun? que va correspondiente al, al, al subject. El sujeto es they. 
¿Y cuál es el objeto que le pertenece? Que, le, que está... Ah. No puede ser day. Ok, vamos a parar ahí. Vamos a seguir mañana, Teresa, con ese mismo ejercicio. Ok, okay. para todos. Me acuerdan, Teresa, me acuerda. Right. Voy a pasar okay. asistencia porque son las 9.59. Right. Rapidito. Analicia. Brenda. Presente, Ticha. Cecilia Beatriz. Daniela María. Presente. Edwin Leonel. Presente. Fátima Joana. Presente. Gerardo Antonio. Presente, Ticha. Aye de la Paz. Presente. Jaira Donis. And goodbye. Presente. Jonathan Alexis. <ríe> Presente. Juana Cristela. Presente. Karen Janet. Presente. Carla Susana, Katia Carolina, Marina Vanessa. Presente. Miriam Garelí. Sandra Maricela. Presente. Teresa de Jesús. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda. Presente. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, we're going to stop there, guys. Right. We we'll see each other tomorrow at 8 p.m. Nos vemos mañana a las 8. Y hoy le, hoy le corresponde a Edwin. Si no se va a quedar Edwin, se puede quedar alguien más. Right. Solo tengo Edwin. una pregunta, disculpe. Pero ya no, hasta mañana. Porque ya son las okay. 10. Sí. A menos que Edwin no se quede, se quede esa Gracias. pregunta. Edwin se va a quedar. Ok, ah, pues se puede quedar Ana. No se va a quedar Edwin. Bye bye guys. Bye. Good evening. Si puedes desconectas. Vaya. Mire, entonces fíjese que mi pregunta es la siguiente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y es esta no sé si la contesté. Ahí Porque... desconectese por favor. Apúrese Jair. Teresa desconectese por favor. Es que solo puedo tener una persona en el en la clase. A esa hora. Ok, dígame. Fíjese que yo no sé si conté. Aquí me sale que aquí me sale que las tengo todas. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a ir una por una. No, es que, pero las envío después. Porque yo revisé a las nueve y media. Y me parecía 40%. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Si usted las actualizó después, ya tiene que aparecer. Veamos una por una, no hay problema. Vámonos a la una. Vamos a ver a la 1, la tarea 2. Okay, tarea 1, ya está. Veamos arriba. Aquí arriba ya le tiene que decir 20 de 20. Mira, 20 de la arribita, 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 arribita. Ahí dice tarea número 1, marcar esta página. Tarea de... número 1, 20 de 20. Ahí le va a decir su puntaje. Vaya, vamos uh -huh. a la tarea 2. Si usted le envió. Me va a aparecer. Es el jabofe, muy bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, pero veamos la tarea 2. Esa no es la tarea 2. La tarea 2 es aquí. Eh, ahí. Esa es la tarea 2. La otra es la discusión, sí. 20 de 20. Ya compré. Uh -huh. Si usted no lo envía y yo no lo puedo, si usted no le da a enviar, yo veo lo que usted, lo último que usted hizo. Ajá. Aunque Pero usted lo haya llenado ahí. 20 de 20. 20 de 20, ya llevamos 60. Tarea 20 4. de 20. Ajá. Tarea y 5. Tarea 5. Ahorita ya llevamos 100 entonces. Perfecto. Ya terminamos las tareas de la semana y solamente nos quedan las discusiones. Y esas discusiones, disculpe, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo se hacen? Esas son durante la semana. Ponemos por lo menos dos o tres a la semana. Ay. Para ir practicando un poquitito más. Gracias, mi buenas noches. Que descanse. Igualmente, bye bye.